snapper? No. You don't know yet. Just no. It could be a gummy man. It's that whatever's taking you burly. Because <laughs> I've casted it out and I'm seeing it race up. The just fight it. I want to see it. Lock it up if you it have could to. Could be a snapper. That's funny. Oh! <laughs> you! He is massive. He's not 20. No, he's not. He's about seven or eight. He's, nah. He's pretty fat. But I can't see your face. Okay, you gotta get the blood off him. G'day guys. Today we're going for our first trip out in Port Phillip Bay. Uh, that I'm gonna film. Um, we're at Frankston Boat Ram. It's gonna be a beautiful day about mid-October and we're gonna start with a bit of a launch we're gonna run you through everything I do so I just want to talk about sounding for a second this is the Lorance unit I'm gonna use a 165 high wire for best results you just cruise slowly just cruise around at a set pace, and when you find fish, my settings, in, in, I'm just talking about Port Phillip Bay now, I use auto, uh, or and if anything, I put the sensitive sensitivity down, because I don't want to get false results, and I'll talk about that in a minute, when I find these fish. When I'm sounding on, I stay about 10, I don't know, a nice just trawling speed, because as faster you go, the smaller the arches will be. It's pretty technical, and I don't want to talk about it because I don't have the best words for it. But here we go, we've got some fish coming through. Now see what happens to these fish, if I start jacking up the sensitivity, right, with all this clutter nonsense on the, on the sounder, those fish start to look, ooh, should I drop on them? When reality, those fish are, pinkies or rock cod sitting on the bottom you know I should really have it like this so it's just garbage on the bottom 20 centimeter pinkies that I don't want to catch that are sitting in a school like that now that's that's the thing you can jack it up and get all this clutter and then the whole I find is it wastes your time when you're trying to find big arches big nice snapper and that's what I mean about wasting your time on putting your sensitivity up. I've just purposely anchored, quickly dropped the ultra rig down, caught a rock cut straight away. In the next couple of weeks, the snapper will be coming in from Port Phillip Bay Heads and pushing down to into the city, into Melbourne or off Carrum or wherever they choose to spawn this year. We've just come out of Frankston and we're gonna give it a bit of a crack. It's a bit of a research trip today, so we'll see what we can work out. Um, we'll go back to Western Port later on. Combo I'm using today is a bait runner Shimano uh, 6000D, 15 pound mono. I've got some Snelled rigs and some Paternoster, they're Reedy's 187 hooks. And when we're fishing shallow, we don't use weight. The rod I'm using today is a Gorn Fishing Port Phillip Bay Special. They're all right, they get the job done. We're just gonna fish some reefy ground this morning first up and see how we go. I'd say this bait will last about two minutes in this area. Out she goes. Set the drag, make sure you set your drag first first up because what can happen if you don't set it and you forget you get busted straight off big cast out it's quite a snaggy area I'm fishing it's very rare I use bait runner I may have in the past but it's not something I do I just lock them up um, if I drop a few fish then I might consider using bait runner at the moment it's got a run in tide that bait's already gone, it's full of pinkies. I won't stay here too long because I just can't stand the pinkies, to be honest. Lovely silver whiting, really good bait. And the humble pilchard, that's what we're using today. I just like to keep things simple. We've got a pinky on here. There we go. There's a little... See, all these inshore reefs, full of 
these pinkies and um, like there's obviously ones that are sized you can go there catch them on lures do whatever you want they're just like so easy to catch but we're not chasing these these guys I reckon should the size limit should increase to like 38 I don't know why they have a, a size limit of 28 centimeters it's probably because when they hit 29 or get a little bit bigger they leave the bay and it probably gives more people opportunity to catch um, those fish I, don't, I hate I really hate that size limit I wish they'd increase it to 35 um, let us know your thoughts in the comments because you know just because I don't like some something doesn't mean other people do look may like it I don't know Righto, I think there's fish here. Just getting the baits in. He's got a bit of go on him. He's off and racing. He's not a huge fish, but he's pulling drag, so that's all right. I wouldn't mind if he got off, because... He's come alive. <laughs> I miss Port Phillip. Oh, he might be better than I thought. <laughs> really get that <laughs> Not a huge fish, but he's all right. He's decent. We're on again on the ultra rig. Reedy's ultra rig. It's a good fish. See, ya. I just don't want to go too hard on them. There's no structure. There's nothing I can lose the fish to. So just having a medium drag setting is really important. I just oh, I've got a double buckle. Yeah, look at that, in the back, oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Fucking, how good is this, boys and girls? First trip out fishing, filming. Man, these are both good fish. Oh. On the, on the scallop. First thing I'm doing is get him out of the net so he doesn't tangle up. It's us boys and girls. Mate, if you wanna help us out, go down to your local tackle store and grab a pack of the 187s. I'm a bit selfish today, come out by myself. Um, I'm all about getting other people on the fish, but sometimes I just want to be a bit selfish and come and catch the fish. Because it's bloody a lot of fun, so get your boats out here, get your family, get your, your kids and everything. Come out, enjoy yourself in uh, Port Phillip Bay because it's going to be a cracker of a season. Man, this is a good fish. I've had him on for a while now. Northerly, smoothly. We've got a bite. I have... I'm gonna keep this, I'm decided I'm gonna keep them. It's early season. It's a male. Look at that. On the Reedy's Ultra Rig, buckled in the holder. On the 187s, he ain't, he's down the cob. I'm gonna run through an overview from what I just did then. So I went in shallow. I seen that the water temp was, third, I think it was about 14.4. 14, 14 
I just looked on my sounder and I I just didn't have a gut, good gut feeling about in super shallow which normally I do fish this time of year I pushed out a little bit wider to about 17 18 19 meters and I noticed that the water temp had come up a little bit that that little information there that from 14.5 in shallow and then when I went out a bit deeper off Frankston into about 19 for some reason um, it was a little bit warmer it was a d degree and a half warmer and that's that's all I needed with that's all I needed to catch the fish we got there on the tide change and we got it done how you going Someone's filming me. <laughs> so what you don't know is for a number of years, I donate a lot of fish. A little old lady's coming now to get a snapper. And the reason I give her a snapper is because I was talking to her at the pier one day and she, ha she she was in crutches and she's she's about 80 or something and she goes down, she fishes hard. She loves going on the boat, but she had an accident. She had a fall in the boat. So she can't get out fishing off the boat anymore. So whenever I get a few snapper, I always ring her and give her one. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. My absolute favorite thing about snapper season is watching my young kids struggle with a big fish. As Sonny hooks up for his first Port Phillip Bay snapper of the season, the braid wraps around his rod tip and snaps his line. One keeper. <laughs> and he's definitely on. Really? Yeah, it's pulling drag. Mate, this is pretty tight. tight. Oh, bust fuck. I got it. I got it. With the fish still connected, Sonny's line started to disappear underwater. With my slow and sluggish reflexes, I managed to pull a miracle off and grab Sonny's line. As the fish did its runs, it was cutting into my fingers, but there was no chance in hell I was letting go of this fish. Port Phillip Bay. Just go back a bit, mate. There you go. Now give us a big cheesy. We couldn't really claim this as a capture for Sonny, but he got a second chance. Sonny, if you give up, Off there! Oh. <laughs> Off that rod hole, Sonny. Wind it, Sonny. Wind me. Sonny, tell me when you give up. You get the net ready, Cooper? Yeah, good. As the boys worked together, they all caught fish in glass calm conditions when the fishing was tough for everyone. Here it it's is. Good fish. It's a good, good fish, fish, Sonny Reed. Oh, <laughs> oh he's only just in the net. Sonny just Yes! Sonny Reed! High five! Even... That's a donkey! Huh. <laughs> I can't even hold that. Oh, that's, that's big. On the Lumos. Yes. <laughs> How good is that? As the sun started to set and the bite started to slow. A lifetime of memories had just been made, packed up and headed in. It's November and we're heading to Melbourne. As I'm driving down Oliver's Hill, I see out the corner of my eye a keen charter boat fishing off Frankston. It's a long drive ahead of me past some of Melbourne's iconic boat ramps. I'm pretty bloody excited. I'm joining thousands of anglers in the biggest party on water. Get ready for shows. It's snapper season 2022. Let's get those doggies.